Yay! Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Where we always have fun adventures. I'm very tired. <gasps> I didn't fall through the floor this time! I didn't fall through the floor this time! Okay. Um, uh, everything's where I left it. So I still have, uh, yeah, I still have my massive amount of cobalt. <laughs> so, uh, there was one thing I think I forgot to show everybody last time. So let me just hop in my spaceship. Oh, and I did not find a spaceship. I sat there for like 15 minutes before I had to leave. And there was there was no good spaceships. Or at least no cool looking ones that I would have been seen driving in. So anyway, I forgot to show you. I found some cool things. And there are these weird little balls down here. Let me land. And they're just, they're curious deposits. And it's like runaway mold. And you can shoot them, and they're gonna roll away. If I put like... Walls. Yeah. I put walls to stop them from running away. But when you shoot them, you get curious? No. It's... Oh, brain. They're curious deposits, and when you shoot them, you'll get runaway mold. So you can use them to either get units or to get nanites. I'm gonna just farm these up, and then we're gonna go back. And I'll show you how to, how to get them to, to the nanite portion of it. So you just pop them, you go to a refiner and you pop the runaway mold in it and it'll give you five to one nanite clusters. Or, or, if you're broke as shit like I was in the beginning, you can go and just sell them. And you get, it's like 19 units each, so it's not bad, it's not good. But it's like a super easy way just to get nan nanite clusters. So we'll see how many this gives us, and I'll come back then. Well, I decided, since that's going to take a minute, um, I just checked the base computer, and it wants me, let's see if it's selected, yeah, it wants me to construct a landing pad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I guess let's see what we need. Oh boy, okay, so we need 10 metal plating, two ion batteries, and two microprocessors. Uh, let me see what I have in storage. Cool, so we got everything. So where are we gonna put this landing pad? Uh, cause there's a landing thing here and I technically don't need it. But I will take it. Um, probably shouldn't put it over here. Or we could put it way over here. Way over here sounds fine. I put it like right here. We'll just see if it works. Boom. I can just shoot these. They'll probably like come back. But it's not a big deal. There, we got a nice little landing pad. That we can also put our spaceship in. Yeah, I don't think we have to do anything else because I think we just wait for it. Yep, wait for additional data to be restored. 
So I was able to make an Atlas Pass 3, which I heard that you don't need one or two. I mean, I, I made one, but I don't have two. But this building uses two. So I'm going to go see if it works. Got everything in here. So let's see if three works on two. It does. Oh. What are you? That's weird. Carbon. Just getting a bunch of carbon. else in here? Just carbon? Can I do anything with you? No? This is highly anticlimactic. Oh, okay. Maybe not. What if I go down this door? Atlas Pass Level 2. Oh! Got some nav data. Some condensed carbon. This is strange. Oop. Encrypted navigation data. More nav data. Sodium, sodium. Again, anticlimactic. I figured there would be something back here that's actually worthwhile and not carbon. Well, that was a bust. Wasted all of our time. Look! I'll just, you know, piddle fuck around until it's done because I don't want to leave the planet in case something funky happens. Oh no, I have more runaway mold in here. Okay, well, you know what? You can just walk over to the trade terminal. You can just hop on over to sell. And look, I'm gonna get 20, 21,000 from that. Ooh. This made such a big dent in my stuff. <laughs> the market's still negative 80. It's been a couple days since I crashed the market. Like, real time days. Yeah. Yay, we're at 100%. So that was like, what was that? Like 6,000? Some. Maybe. I used a calculator. Don't judge me. That yeah, was like 6,000. A little over 6,000. So, I mean, you don't get a super amount, but that's still a lot of nanites. Because now we have 2,241 nanites. So, yeah. So, I would like to accomplish two things today. I probably will only get one done knowing my brain. I'd like to find a ship that has a lot more inventory and is decent. And then I also want to try and like do the signal booster thing for Artemis. There, there's a lot of stuff I could do. Okay, so I have to build a signal booster. And I need metal plating and carbon annual tool. <laughs> one metal plating, one carbon nanotubule. Tubule. So we just do this. I'm just gonna plop it here. Use the signal booster to triangulate your position. Do I have to do it here? Can I do it here?
Outpost signal detected online. Navigation subroutines online. Exosuit upgrade unit detection online. Please select navigational task. Triangulate position. Cool beans. Suitable triangulation position located. Pick up the signal booster and make your way to the triangulation site thingy. Got you. Is it off planet? It very much is off planet. Let's go on an adventure! We'll probably do the ship thing like after I get some of this stuff done. So I at least advance the plot line instead of doing side missions and ignoring it completely. And this is an interesting play. Are there sentinels around? Because it doesn't look like there's sentinels around. What? There's a dude here. Hi, what's up? The life form shows me complicated creature research data to see if I can comprehend it. I must look blind because the life form instead projects three holographic images into my visor. Unknown life form. A uh, blah blah blah. Unknown life form. A uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, I can't speak Corvax yet. They cl are clearly seeking my opinion on the intellect of my own species. I am shown a vacant looking slug, a more advanced beaked traitor, and a member of their own electronic race. Uh, I'm gonna point to the electronic life form. The electronic being leans forward skeptical. They scan me with a small device and shake their head. I am given an upgrade module and a dismissive wave. Well, I'm sorry I got it wrong, but I don't speak Corvac. Well, dang it. More ammunition. Some navigation data. Don't forget to get the carbon. Yeah, there's no carbon. Aw, oh, man. Corvax Observatory. A beacon flickers on screen received from a distant point in space. My fingers hover over the terminal ready to enter the code to reveal the location, but what numbers do I enter? 3908-0983-0839. Well, it would be... 8390. Yeah. I entered the digits and wait. The location of a distant point in space is revealed to me. Cool, we have another um, planetary chart now. I'm just gonna have to do a whole episode on all of the planetary charts that I have. Okay. Where is that? That's off planet. Okay. We can go there eventually. Well, it's back in your room, dude. More nonsense. Because why would there be anything useful back here? Makes no sense. Literally just a fuck ton of carbon. Again, nothing useful. It's, it's the same shit. Why is this blocked behind a pass? Am I, like, completely missing something? Because, like, I'm just getting... There's just boxes. There's nothing useful. Anyway, um... So I do... Oops. So what, I'm just... Gonna put that here and, and it's gonna work. Right? Triangulate position? Navigational Huh. Okay. And this one's also off planet. Okay. 
Well, let's go. What was that? There's a trade post here. Pit stop. I'm sorry I got distracted, but I want to go see some things. Maybe they're going to have a cool ship. That one's a C. That one's a B. That one's a C. And that one's a C. Y'all suck. ship? Let me see that. But, I mean, it, it, it's kind of red, but it looks pink. It's got more space. And it's honestly not that much. I might buy this one for right now. Just so that I have more space. Yeah, fuck it. Let me exchange it. I've got so much stuff now. Or so much space now. See now I can I can do this. Now I just, I got so much space. I don't know what to do with my space. Oh. Time to leave. <laughs> Man, I need to play this in VR sometime just to see how sick it would make me. All right, well, let's oop, just put down the signal booster and use it to triangulate some more data. Navigation okay to receive. Yay, we have 100. Return to space to contact Artemis. Okie dokie, I can do that. All right. Am I gonna get a phone call? Yeah, I'm getting a phone call. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, and d the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a holo terminus, upload your data. Let's, uh, let's find each other. Locate a hollow terminus to send data to Artemis. You see to scan your surroundings. Is the hollow terminus over there? Yep. I'll actually stay on path this time and not get distracted. Does it have free? Yay, it has free parking! Me park. Okay. All the terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. We're gonna activate it. Ooh. Hello. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent, we're really getting somewhere. Hold on, I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. 
I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few seconds. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Yay! What's next? Artemis Translator, an automatic translation device. Device must be calibrated by preloading with existing translation data. Device must have network connection to Artemis to function without access to host translation service. Humbert's circuit allows limited real-time translation of a small number of words. Okay. Well, I've got enough stuff to build it. Am I supposed to build it? I think I'm supposed to build it. Okay. Words can be learned by speaking to alien life forms or by investigating their ruins. Find alien life forms aboard space stations or various planetary buildings. Explore to locate ruins and other ancient monuments. I guess we have to go to that ancient ruin thingy. Huh. Um, let me build it first. So I built it. Now what? Do I have to actually go? Alien life forms. Be with aliens on planets and space stations. Learn words from ancient ruins. Install an auto translator. Okay. Does this mean I don't have to go to an ancient ruin? Kind of curious to see. How far away is it? Far away. Far enough away for me to leave the planet and go back on. Oh, this is a big one. But it does not have free parking and it saddens me. Oh, right here looks good. Have I been here? It looks like I've been here. It really looks like I've been here. You literally brought me to a place that I've been. Fucking why? And this ball. This thing is just a roly poly. Oh my gosh, that's great. Eh. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. Here, anybody want to play soccer? back <laughs> oh my gosh this is too fun I didn't know I could do this it's fun okay well I've already been here there's literally no point press C and habited outpost detected over here. How far away are you? Oh, not very far at all. Cool, cool. Well, there's a thing over here. There's a thing. In this thing, I can talk to people. So, maybe this will work. I like how there's just just a plant a giant plant oh there's the worm again ah fucking lovely 
So we got the all the words we needed, finally. And now we just have to scan to locate alien outpost. Large outpost detected. Where am I going? Over there? Okay. Well, you know what? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's go. Potential assistance? Approximate location? Where am I going? Up there. That's where I'm going. Ta-da! I did it! God, I didn't like how that wiggled over there. Hello, Mr. Corvax. Let me talk to you. Insignificance does not register with the convergence of interest, but not of worth. Through the garble of Artemis' translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputation rank. Okay. Okay, so I should be able to... If I remember right... These people sell things. Yeah, Corvax season. Give me that. There's one. Come here, dude. Give me... Give me another Corvax casing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna go talk to... Uh, I gotta go talk to some of these people down here and give them Corvax casing. Because that should work. You can also just like up standing by tr talking to them, I know. Let's see if we can do that. And they like technology, so we're gonna give him a technology word. Yeah, it ignites a passion in him. They produce a complex set of data, graphing out the trends from a set of experiments. Though I cannot follow it, they seem pleased to have the opportunity to share. And then, yeah, I just increased the, the standing. So you can do it that way, or... You can just offer them a Corvex casing. And that works. So now we return back to this dude. And... Wait, I have to still improve my reputation rank? What? 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 I think it glitched. As I approach the life form, the lights in its shell casing begin to brighten and constrict. Yeah, it glitched. It definitely glitched. Chattering noises issuing forth. They hold out a scanner. It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Let me ask for information. The life form's chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. But the life form's shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. Just allow it to scan me. I allow the life form to scan me. They create a three-dimensional cross-section of body, exosuit, skin, organs, all included, refining the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it is complete. This, this data is invaluable to Corvex Convergence. Thank you, Traveler. I will, of course, assist you. Give star chart. 
I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis's location. Location does not exist? Nothing is more tragic than a corrupt piece of code. Uh, I can't see them being wrong, so I'm just gonna... What? Please feel welcome to return and deliver a blood sample? Hell no, you ain't getting my blood. It's my blood. Uh-uh. That's my blood. So I now have to return to space and bring the news to Artemis. Ooh, the base computer archives are done. But I have a call. Okay. There you are. I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why are you saying anything? Uh, I'm gonna tell her what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Uh, how did you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they've altered since I made that chart. Blinked out in... How is this possible? What is happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It's quiet at first, but there is unmistakable growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words as if glass could scream i'm going to try and comfort them i try to comfort artemis but my words feel strangely hollow i can do nothing artemis speaks to me again i discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler a gateway between worlds i thought it would lead me to another of our kind but now i don't even know if the voice was real the pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. There are seeds of glass within there. Give me the glyphs? They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... 16 warn your face it please not yet I'm not the signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion I hear a name through the static Apollo okay register ID a frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contact how oh, okay well, I guess we're gonna go to the anomaly. But first, I need to go back to my base. And I need to, to do a bunch of stuff. Because the base computer is done. So, I'm gonna leave it off here. Because I've been recording for a long time. So, I will see everybody in the next episode. And we'll see if we can figure out who this Apollo person is. But anyway, bye bye.